us. But only one could be a winner this evening. And the winner is Samsung India Electronics Private Limited. Congratulations. Could I request Mr. Mr. Ranjavit Singh, Senior VP Marketing, to come and join us. And next, may I present to you the nominations for consumer durable in other categories. Let's take a look at that list. A lot of familiar names that we have over there. And the winner, once again, ladies and gentlemen, it is Samsung India Electronics Private Limited. so much for joining us. Mr. Roy, you please continue. <laughs> we have one more category for you to be here with us. And now, could we please invite onto the stage jury member, Managing Director Tata Sky, Mr. Harit Nagpal, to join us and present the next set of awards. <laughs> So ladies and gentlemen, let's see what our next category is. Marketer of the year, two wheeler, and let's see who the nominees are. A lot of familiar names over there, and I'm sure it's going to be very, very tough competition. But there can be only one winner. And the winner is Honda Motorcycle and Scooter India Private Limited. Can I request VP Marketing, Mr. Y.S. Guleria, to come and join us on stage to accept the award? <laughs> And now, let's see our next set of awards. We're looking at our four-wheelers now. Let's see who made it to that nominees list. And the winner, ladies and gentlemen, is Maruti Suzuki India Limited. Congratulations. May I please request Mr. Randir Singh Kalsi, Senior Executive Director, Marketing and Sales, to come and join us to accept that award. Congratulations, sir. Gentlemen, thank you both so much for joining me on stage. When good leadership exists in a business, it has a knock-on effect through the entire organization. The vision, the goals of a successful leader are played out by the actions of their employees. Integrity, talent, long-term sustainable and durable success ultimately becomes a part of the culture of an organization. And these values are ultimately also reflected in the product and consequently the marketing of the same. 
So may I please request Mr. Ramesh Narayan to come up on stage for our next prestigious award. Thank you, sir. And the next category for this evening is The IAA Business Leader. Ladies and gentlemen, with a round of applause, the award goes to Chairperson Reliance Industries Limited, Mr. Mukesh Ambani. for this evening, please. Would you like that? Yes? All right. Well, good evening to all my friends from the advertising and marketing community. Originally, Kaushik Roy, who works for me, uh, got me into this and uh, said that you must come for the IA event. And so I said, what will it involve? So he said, yeah, you just have to, you've done it once before, so it'll involve a 45 minute speech. And uh, what do you think? So I said, yeah, we'll like, whatever you say, I'll do. And uh, you know, these guys like, as things stand said, no, no, we must lock this in by giving Mukesh an award. So <laughs> So I really don't know whether I uh, deserve this award or not, but uh, here I am. The benefit to all of you is that uh, this will be a very short, you won't have to listen to me for 45 minutes. Uh, I think that uh, seriously, uh, on behalf of all of us at uh, Reliance Industries, we want to thank the jury and the IIA for this uh, recognition. Uh, for me personally, this has been a 40-year journey. Reliance completes uh, its 40 years uh, this year as being a public company. And uh, I have been fortunate <laughs> to be part of this journey from year one. And uh, the first 25 years uh, under my father. And I still remember that uh, when I started out, I was still a student of chemical engineering. Reliance was less than $5 million in enterprise uh, value. And in 40 years, uh, within India as an Indian company, we are now over $150 billion of enterprise value as a group. <laughs> and that has been uh, a phenomenal journey. The, across the, you know, for the first 25 years, for me, whatever uh, I am today and whatever recognition that we get, we always stand on the shoulders of my father. Uh, he founded Reliance and he believed in the principle of saying that as Reliance, we will always invest in businesses of the future, and we will always invest in talent. And uh, over the last 40 years, we've done that. We believe in the power of youth. The one consistent thing is that over these last 40 years, the average age at Reliance has consistently remained at around 30 years. We built uh, technology businesses uh, 
from day one. Uh, we built uh, the largest, and you know, if we think about uh, technology, even in our first IPO, we used technology at that time, market capitalization, and I still remember in 1977, we were very proud that Reliance, uh, you were involved in that, and uh, we're very proud that we listed at $2 million market capitalization, and we all worked uh, pretty much around the clock uh, in terms of getting the cards computed and getting our lakhs of shareholders, uh, uh, their certificates, and all of that. Through the years, right, uh, we proud, we've been really proud that we are a technology company. We've done that in the energy area, not so much uh, visible to the marketing and advertising fraternity. But I'm really proud of what our young people have achieved uh, at uh, GEO. Uh, they have, again, demonstrated what my father and I believe in, is that leadership is not about uh, following anybody. Leadership is about setting new standards that nobody else has ever set. And what we have uh, done at GEO is that India was 155th in mobile broadband rankings in the world. In the first year after GEO was launched, India has become number one the largest mobile data market in the world. For some of you in advertisement, like we now have crossed 50 crore hours of video viewing on the smartphone, which itself is that uh, essentially this market is moving to a mobile video market. And this, again, is a first in the world. And that is what the opportunity for a new India, for the youth of India, is in the coming years. And I really accept this uh, recognition from the IAA and dedicate it to the power of the youth, to bringing more young business leaders to really transform India in the coming decades to what it really deserves to be, a world superpower. And I know that this generation can do it. So with that, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Well, Mr. Ambani, I actually I wanted to add a little something. I was listening to you uh, backstage and the quote that you gave where you spoke about leaders. I also truly believe that a good leader is someone that inspires others to become leaders. And as the, the representing the youth of this nation, I truly can say that you are an inspiration for a lot of young people out there. You truly are. And now, ladies and gentlemen, talking about young people, I'd like to welcome onto this stage an exceptionally young man. He really is someone who knows about winning and becoming a leader in his field, all of the tender age of 13. After his victory in season seven of India's Got Talent, this young prodigy from Amritsar has actually gone on to perform in front of our Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modiji, and the Prime Minister of Japan, Mr. Shinzo Abe. So ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the young prodigy, Suleiman. <laughs> 